I'm Keegan Leahy for Virtual Racing School. Here's part two of 10 things you might be doing wrong in NASCAR. Just like you want everyone around you to drive smoothly and hold their line, you should do so as well. It's hard to see the direct benefit in driving predictably, but over time you'll notice you're in fewer race ending wrecks. As an example, if you're on someone's bumper on corner entry, slowly back off a bit instead of quickly braking right before the regular braking point. This can save you from getting rear-ended from the guy behind you who wasn't expecting you to brake early. I've seen this more times than I can count. When the car starts coming up the track because you get tight, the natural instinct is to turn the wheel more. That just doesn't work. It slides the front tires and causes unnecessary heat buildup. I've seen drivers pick up over half a second of lap time on the long run just from fixing this one mistake. If you have a VRS account, try comparing your telemetry to a coach to see if you're turning the wheel too much. On tracks where braking is important, often people are scared of getting loose on corner entry, so they take it excessively easy and give up lap time. Instead, try to master this technique. Always turn in a little bit before you start braking. It only takes a little bit of steering angle, but it puts the old road course adage, brake in a straight line, to good use. Finally, something that doesn't depend on driving. For open setup series, that last tenth of a second of lap time can come from your pit road adjustments. A lighter car is a faster car, so take as little fuel as possible that works for your pit strategy. This means running only a few gallons of fuel if you pit for a 10 lap shootout. Just make sure you use the spring perch adjustments to loosen the car up to compensate for the increased nose weight. You can even use reduced fuel loads in fixed series if the setup's loose enough. Look where you want to go, not where you're trying to avoid going. Look for the white line if you want to place your left side tires on it or a seam in the track. On corner exit, never stare at the wall, but instead look at the bit of track you're trying to drive to. Try to look for landmarks or lines in the track when you're right up on someone's bumper, instead of getting hypnotized by their sponsor decals. Basically, you want to look where you want to go and use your peripherals for everything else. That wraps up the 10 most common mistakes I see in eNASCAR. If you'd like to see more, check out virtualracingschool.com for more in-depth data and tutorial videos.